when you're not when you are not in life of mode that's why I explained in the morning that we have these marking parameters to be sure that it, I'm not in IFO. Then I execute the polarizer, and then I switch to the IFO mode with the other parameters. So I put it back. I just remembered one, one last topic. Sure. Uh, how do you run, so oftentimes uh, there is ran uh, like patterns you wanted to repeat them at different depths. Uh -huh. I was just curious how, is, that, is there a simple way to do that as well? Or yeah. Yeah, here you can put a, let's run it just twice, so we don't go too deep. So we can put a, a loop. And then I put it, and then put anything. A loop, okay, I move it above the circle. So it's going to do loop one, it's going to do twice. So then you mark the circle, and then you can add the G-code or a, something to move. So uh, what is the G-code? What is G-code? So a G-code to move. Uh, Z, I don't know, point zero one. Is it point there? Yeah, zero point one, and then you make it. Uh, oops, oops. You make it an incremental is G ninety one. G ninety one. Yeah, here you have G ninety one is incremental moves. G ninety is. So uh, if you run that, it's going to do a loop, and then it's going to do the circle, and then it's going to move Z a little bit, and then it's going to do it again. So uh, how can the loop know where to go? Yeah, that's what I, I don't remember. I'm looking for that. Let's, uh, let's find it here. Nope, it's already there. So, okay. Press the command inside the loop, select the command, and move it inside the loop using the up-down arrows, buttons. So I'm here, so I just move up. And now you see it's indented, so it's inside oh, the loop. Inside the so everything that is inside the, the loop is going to be done twice. So we move this one also in there. So it's going to do the circle and move Z and do the circle again and then get out. So. Another question that I say, can we change the circle size? I mean, we pattern the one circle this side, and the next side we change the E also shrinking, changing the... On the fly, you mean? You define a circle and yeah, you change and it? Yeah, and then shrinking. And each loop have different diameter of... How we do that? I'm not sure. I think there's a way, but I, I owe you that. I can send you an email with that. Because I sent also an email from you. Yeah. Because it's quite important for us. Yeah. Okay. And also there's a variable here. I can see this. Yeah, there's an X variable, but I don't remember how to use that inside the, uh, oh. inside the, the, the tool. Okay. So I will need to check that. Mm -hmm. We can search quickly to see if I find them. Yeah, right here it says you can define a variable and then a command like the wafer radius and you can set the value. And you, you, you can use that variable on, the, on somewhere else. 